what's up everyone this is music tech help guy and in this video i'm going to show you some helpful ways to convert and delete automation in logic pro if you do a lot of mixing work like me you might find yourself wanting to delete all of the automation in a project to start from scratch so i'll often get projects from clients who've done some of their own mixing work and uh, drawn in automation already. And most of the time, I usually just clear out all of the automation before I start mixing a track, unless it's automation that is uh, applied to like a synthesizer parameter or like a modulation wheel or something like that. So things that are like related to the sound design of an instrument. However, most of that automation usually ends up being region automation. So in addition to showing you how to delete automation, I'm also going to show you how to convert automation back and forth between region and track automation. Before I get into the tutorial, though, I want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. Boombox is the ultimate file sharing and collaboration platform for music industry professionals. If you're sick of scrolling through email after email of collaboration notes and revisions, you've got to give Boombox a try. With Boombox, you can store full DAW sessions, you can upload bounces of mixes, multi-tracks or stems, you can have collaborators leave time-stamped feedback on your tracks, and I haven't even gotten to the best part yet, the Boombox Sync app. This allows you to add files to your Boombox folder in Mac OS, and all of these files will automatically be synced with the Boombox web app, and it'll also be synced with the mobile apps for iOS and Android. If you wanna try out Boombox for yourself, head over to boombox.io today to get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so I've got a project here with quite a bit of automation in it, and as most people know, you can press A to hide and show your automation. And then on each track, you'll see whether the region or track automation is shown. Now, the first function I wanna show you is how to delete all of the track automation in a project. To do this, you can go up to mix and then go down to delete automation. And actually all of the different uh, methods of deleting uh, automation and converting automation are all up here under this mix menu. So if you go down to delete automation and then you can uh, select delete all track automation. Um, this is usually my go-to for mixing because this deletes all of the you know typical mix automation, but then leaves things like synthesizer parameters. Like here, this is region automation, and this is just uh, the modulation wheel. It's just some automation drawn in for the modulation wheel. So generally speaking, this will keep all of your like sound design automation still in the regions because this only deletes track automation, not the region automation. Now, there is a workaround. If you wanna get rid of all of the automation, like I've got some more region automation here. Let's say you wanna get rid of all of the automation. Let me hit Command Z to go back a step. What I'm gonna do is select all of the tracks. I'm just gonna hold Shift, select all of the tracks, and then I'm gonna go up to Mix, Convert Automation, and you'll see there's four options here, convert visible track and region automation or convert all track uh, and region automation. Now it doesn't say this in the menu, but this is only for the selected tracks. So if you only have one track selected, it's only going to convert the automation for that selected track, which is why I selected everything. So if I wanna convert all region automation to track automation, I can do that here. And so you'll see some of that uh, hidden uh, region automation is now converted to track automation. And what I can do at this point is go back to that mix, delete automation, and then delete all track automation. And now I have zero automation in this project. So that's a really helpful way to delete all of the automation in a project and to convert uh, region automation to track automation. And you can go the opposite way. You can convert track automation to region automation as well. Let's take a look at an example, maybe like this, where we've got three different automation parameters on a track. And let's say you just want to delete one of these. What you can do is you select that track and you go up to mix, you go to delete automation again. And this time you can select delete visible automation on selected track. So that's only going to delete the top layer of automation while the bottom two layers that are in there are going to be left alone. 
And this will only work if the automation lanes are not shown. So if I were to use that exact same function right now, because the other two autom uh, automation parameters are shown, it's going to delete those as well. So it only deletes the automation that is shown on the track that's currently visible on the track, not automation that's in the background. So let's take a look at some of these other deletion options here. We have delete all automation on selected track. So this will delete all of the automation on the track, whether it's shown or not. So that's a helpful one if you just want to delete the automation from one track, but not from everything. Now this next one, I almost never encounter anymore, but there is an option here for delete orphaned automation on selected track. This is typically used when you have an automation, uh, you have some automation drawn on a track and then a certain parameter is removed from the track, like a plugin or some uh, software instrument, but then you still have this like lingering automation on the track. Now, in most cases, uh, this will just automatically disappear. Like if I remove contact, the automation for contact disappears. So I haven't encountered this in a while. It used to happen quite a bit in earlier versions of Logic. But if you have an automation parameter down here that says like unused um, under the used uh, category, it just says unused, that's orphan automation. So you can select the track and use the orphaned automation option for that. I don't actually have an example of that in this project, but that's what that's used for. Now, this next one is really helpful if you've ever used the thin automation in Pro Tools. Essentially, what thin automation in Pro Tools does is it takes um, redundant automation points and sort of smooths them out and makes them a, a bit more linear. So you can see here there's some uh, a lot of automation points in here. If I select this track and I go up to Mix, Delete Automation, and there's an option here for delete redundant automation points, you'll see that it thins out uh, the automation and you get less automation points. Um, and this is uh, apparently not just for uh, the selected track, this is for all tracks because as you can see there, even though I only had one track selected, it actually thins out the automation uh, for all of them. So what this will essentially do is it creates more uh, linear uh, ramp ups and, and fall downs. You know, instead of having a million different points going from point A to point B, it may just, you know, result in drawing a linear, you know, straight line um, from where you, uh, you need to start at and where you need to go to. So uh, that's what the redundant automation does. It deletes, uh, sort of thins out the automation and gets rid of uh, unnecessary points in the automation. So there you go, that is how you can delete and convert automation in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.